Hello guys, so unexpected video. Uh, you might remember from around this time last year, I also had a soul apartment tour hunting, soul apartment hunting video because I was moving from my basement apartment um, up to a place that has a window. Isn't that exciting? Um, Kurt and I got married and this was our house together, we moved in. And that means that our year contract is just about to end. In Korea, typically like, if nobody says anything, you just renew your contract. Like it's an unspoken rule that your contract is gonna be renewed. But about a month and a half ago, our landlady who we love, she's very reasonable, she's really nice. Um, she contacted Kurt and was like, hey, let's talk about that contract. And essentially wanted to switch us from Wolse to Junse. So Wolse is like rent. You put down a big deposit, like ten to fifty thousand dollars, um, and then you just pay monthly rent. Junse is you're essentially buying the house without really buying the house. Um, it can be one hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars, and then you don't pay rent. But typically you would need to get a loan. Like I don't have that kind of money just sitting in my bank account. So you would be paying the interest fee on that loan. So usually interest right now, it's like one to 2%, which is quite low. So if you are willing to take that big loan, um, you would only be paying like $200 a month. To me, that number seems really scary because that's like way too much money for my brain to comprehend. But it, in some cases, it makes sense. So when we heard that news, I was really scared because I thought that we would definitely need to leave. But when we heard the price and we kind of talked about it, we decided that it is something that we could do. We could do Junsei. And so I kind of thought that was it. Yay, I'm staying in my apartment that I adore, even though I know that I haven't done an apartment tour video for it yet, which I will explain later. I, I just thought that we were gonna stay, but Kurt likes to get kind of like, all the bang for his buck, is that what it's called? Essentially, he was like, if we're gonna pay this amount of money, why don't we look for a place that's bigger? Why don't we get a better apartment? And I was kind of like, oh, there isn't really a better place, but okay. So we reluctantly started searching. And if you wanna know more about like what services I use, I'm just gonna link you to my other apartment tour or my apartment hunting vlog, um, where I kind of go into detail because this is already getting pretty long. We're just gonna jump into the houses. I saw, I think 10 and I did most of them by myself because Kurt was at work. So um, I vlogged a bit of it, but um, I didn't talk a whole lot. So I'm gonna be here to kind of guide you through it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's jump into it. See some houses. Okay, house number one. So we had already kind of decided which apartments we wanted to see. They told us that we could go see them on a Monday. On Sunday morning, I just woke up and I randomly rechecked everything to see if there was like one more house that I missed. I know every house in like a 20 minute drive's distance in every direction from where I am right now. It's insane. I happened to find this new house that had just been listed and we looked at it, we immediately called the lady. We were like, hey, like we think this is the one, this is it, we wanna see it. And so here is the layout. So you walk in and there is a very small living space, but it has a window, which is nice and kind of rare. Um, and then there's just the kitchen, the bathroom, and a very, very small, kind of storage area but then in the middle there is a ladder that ladder will lead you up to a kind of attic room it is the roof but the big thing is it has a terrace we were kind of surprised because we thought the building like we thought the space would be bigger but the terrace would be smaller but in reality it was the opposite the terrace was actually really really nice like the people next door had a table and chairs out there like it was a very nice place the upstairs where we thought we could put a lot of furniture once we put our bed in there would be almost no room there wasn't any closet space or anything like that so it ended up being kind of disappointing also the ladder was very difficult to get up and down we said we could work around but then we were like nah like we couldn't it, it was genuinely difficult to get up and down so yeah, that was upsetting about house number one. We re like we really thought that was just gonna be it and we were done. We continued our search. Okay, Kurt has to go back to work for a meeting, so I get to go alone. <laughs> I hate it, but let's do it. 
So I actually wasn't able to film house number two, but it was actually, it was pretty nice. It was just two main rooms. The woman who currently lived there, first of all, had two cats, one of which did not like me, but she must just sleep on the floor. She had no bed. She just had like the kitchen dining area and then the living room area, but it did have a lot of light, which was really nice. But the other downside was all of the appliances were her personal appliances. So we would have to pay for a new refrigerator, a laundry machine, etc. So even though it was a really nice space, it just didn't, didn't work for us, unfortunately. So this was actually the house that we really thought we were gonna get. Um, before we saw the ladder house, we were like, this is our number one pick. We can't wait until Monday so we can see it and sign and blah, 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 blah. Okay, hello everyone. So basically Kurt and I saw one house together and it was smaller than we expected, a little upsetting because we both really thought we'd like it, but uh, we didn't. And so he has to go to work and today I'm free. So I'm doing these all by myself. <laughs> which is kind of nerve wracking, but it's okay. Cause you don't have to say much. You just have to look around and be like, oh, so yeah, I'm going to go see another place, which is a little bit further than we wanted, but it is, it looks to be like a very cool, like what we're looking for. So yeah, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully this one works out, but I did also find two other places. After, I'm so sick of looking at, real estate sites. I've just, I've been on them for like three days straight. So anyway, let's go. Hopefully this one is nice and fits our needs and makes up for the fact that it's a little bit far. So from Kurt's work is, our main focus is Kurt likes to walk to work and he can't from here, but anyway, it's windy, let's go. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I walked in, it actually was really old and weird. Like the pictures looked really nice, but the wallpaper was kind of peeling, the floor is supposed to be this white marble and it was actually like the grout was really dirty. Some of the tiles were cracked. Um, the bed was permanent, like built in and it looked really not comfortable. So we were like, what, like, what the heck? Overall, unfortunately, like it sucks because that was literally our number one and it was just, there was no saving it. Very sad, but that little reading nook Oh my god that's like all i want in my life is a little like bench by the window um so yeah it's a bummer but house number three out but the realtor was really cool and he was like listen i've got a couple other places on my list let's go see him so so we hopped in his car and we went to a building that i had seen a few listings for um but they actually didn't make it to my list because i thought that they'd be quite small inside. The first house that we went in is one that I knew. You walk in and to your right, there is a bathroom. To your left, there is uh, another small room, which actually wasn't too small. Um, and then there's this little tiny kitchen area. But when you go up the stairs, there is an attic. And I was kind of thinking it'd be really small. The realtor went up the stairs before me and he literally was like, oh my God. So I ran up there and it is like, huge it's a really big space i wish that there were windows but unfortunately it was just like skylights which i understand it's an attic it also had another bathroom which was really interesting um basically it was just a ton of space but because there were no windows there was literally no way to get any furniture up there if it didn't fit through the little hole where the stairs were there was just no way to deal with it which is unfortunate so and the first floor was also quite a bit cramped like there wouldn't be a place for anything like even just our desk which is like our prized possession um there's absolutely no room for it so yeah just didn't work out then we went next door and he actually had never seen that one he didn't know that it was listed but he happened to just call and they gave him the code. So we went in. So I actually don't have the price for it. He never got back to me on the um, the official price, but so it was probably out of our price range, but it was really nice. It actually had two rooms and it was quite a bit bigger. The bathroom was a lot bigger. And again, he went up the stairs before me and he was like, what? Like you can even hear him in the recording. He just keeps going like, wow, wow. Oh. And this space was even bigger. Like the the actual attic was probably as big as our current apartment, which is insane. Um, but again, we couldn't get anything up there. So we could use it as like a art studio, which would be really cool, um, but nothing else. So maybe we could put like our clothes up there, 
but it just didn't really make sense but I wish it did because I would just I, I've always wanted an attic and it was like it seemed like a cozy not scary one so yeah sad days sad days so this was the final day of touring houses thank god and I met up with a different realtor um, who was very energetic and so the first place he took us was in a really good location but it was just kind of blah it was just a little small and once again zero storage that's one big problem with a lot of korean apartments is that they just simply don't have storage they don't have places to put anything so no storage kind of just a typical like two rooms and a little living room there it is and then he took me back even though i told him that i had seen this building before um he took me back to the same building and it didn't have an attic this was instead of the top floor it was the fourth floor and so yeah it was just like a weird two room situation didn't do anything for me <laughs> so we came back to the other the building i saw yesterday and it's okay but the windows are just so small so i yeah Ugh. and then we get to the last building so he wanders off i told him my main problem with that place was not only that it's small um but that the windows are really really small and he i showed him the view from this current house and he was like oh that's really difficult to find so he like kind of wandered off and made a phone call and then he was like there's a building right around the corner come see it um and it was brand new like they were literally still building it and there's two buildings there's a dong a building and b dong b building and so we went into the b building first or there were only two rooms on the top floor 501 and 502 so we go into 501 and it's basically a two room with a living room a relatively nice bathroom and then this beautiful veranda um, once again we had like this little outdoor space which was really nice and it was currently being built and that's something that kurt finds really important is if it's a new building um so everything would have been brand new um and it was uh, it just i got a good feeling about it and there were lots of windows so then we go into 502 which i found to be even better the direction that it faced um the directions that there were more windows the bathroom was bigger um i just i thought that was the one i was like man I like it like it's got everything that I need basically windows um, and then it's got everything that Kurt finds really important too so this is great we want it but hey let's look at the other buildings just in case so this is where it kind of becomes a blur and we just start seeing a ton of buildings the first floor had a backyard like I would have never taken it because all the other rooms the windows were like facing concrete so it was very dark but you literally had a backyard and then he started to show me the other ones on the fifth floor in the a building they didn't have a veranda they only had like a tight i mean they still called it a veranda but just a tiny space where you could put your plants outside of a window and they were okay but they weren't perfect but i really kind of clung on to that 502 in building b and so the realtor was like listen things are already getting taken we really want to put down a deposit today um, let's do this right now. I called Kurt and Kurt was like, well, obviously like I want to see it. And I was like, yeah, I, like I don't want to put down a deposit right now. It was very stressful. He was very, very pushy. And, um, so Kurt came and looked at it and I will, you know, I'll let myself, my past self take it away. So we just found a house that I, well, I found a house that I think we both really like. And I called Kurt to come over here to come see it. Cause he was like, you gotta sign now. You gotta sign now. And um, as as I'm talking to Kurt, he suddenly is like, oh, by the way, like your first and second choice ones aren't available. So that's kind of annoying, but I do like the other side of the house. I don't know, we'll see, but that was just kind of a bummer because I really thought we found the perfect place. And then he's like, yeah, you can get it. You're the first one to see it. And then he's like, JK, it's gone. So anyway, Kurt's on his way, we'll see but it's a brand new building. Don't even know if we can go back in, but. So yeah, that was kind of a bummer. That was, it was just very strange. And then we actually just ended up saying okay to one of them, um, to like my number three choice, I guess. And um, we did everything, like we transferred. It wasn't the deposit, but it was like a holding fee, which is like 
minus like minuscule compared to what a deposit would be. Kurt decided to work from home for the rest of the day and we were sitting together and I was just, I suddenly felt so much buyer's remorse. And at first I thought it was because last time I was moving from a basement to a beautiful apartment. And now I'm moving from a beautiful apartment to a okay apartment, right? Um, and so I thought like, oh, it's, you know, I'm just, I don't have that high just because I'm not having such a large step up. Um, but the more that I thought about it, the more kind of panicked I got because there really isn't any storage. Um, there wasn't the outdoor space. Like, why did we say yes? And Kurt is really logical and I really love him for it because I was just sitting there being very emotional. I literally was crying at one point, just like thinking about my house. But he basically came up with an equation where we talked about the benefits, what's missing from our current house, um, what are the positives of the new house, etc. And we basically decided that the new place could only at its very best be equal to where we currently are. It would never be better. And if it's not better, why are we moving? We would need to buy closets. We would need to like pay for moving stuff. We would, you know, just, it didn't make sense. And so luckily Kurt called and we were able to get our small like holding money back because it was literally like three, three hours later. I saw 10, 12 apartments. Where are we moving to? Right here. We realized that the only reason why Kurt really wanted to move were because of factors that we could easily fix. So a lot of things are, we just haven't designed the space properly. We just have been so busy this entire year that we really haven't had time to like fully get our house to where we want it to be. Hopefully it's just all things that we can fix. We also know that our landlady is really nice and we might be able to talk her down again, <laughs> the price, which would be really nice. So anyway, thank you for joining me on this weird journey. That was literally, I had so many other videos that I was planning to make, but the stress of potentially moving, like Kurt makes fun of me, but I, I talk about it as like finding my shell. Like I, I'm, I really need a home. Like I need to know where I am living. And so just the process of trying to find a new place is so like such a specific kind of stressful. So yeah. Thank you for coming along. What a wild week that ended up being. I'm willing to like go through that stress and see all those houses by myself with really pushy realtors just to prove that so that I can stay in this house. So yeah, anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope that um, you enjoyed seeing a few of these apartments. I think that the layout of Korean apartments is so interesting sometimes. Um, but anyway, I keep my bathtub, I keep my amazing view. Fantastic. And if you guys are in the process of searching for apartments, Man, I wish you the best of luck. So I will uh, see you guys next time from this lovely apartment. Thank you for joining me. Bye.